Hi, Alan Goldwater from Magic Sound Lab here. Today I'm going to do a test of the jig that I built for doing the uh, processing of the nickel mesh, nickel fabric that's used in the Mizuno type R20 cells. And uh, the steps for the processing have been laid out very nicely by Jed Rothwell about six months ago. Uh, so the process requires a number of surface treatments, including scrubbing and sanding, which are both uh, fairly physical. The mesh is fragile, and so it needs to be well supported to do these kinds of treatments without stretching it or unraveling the edges. What I found was an embroidery frame, a cheap uh, PVC plastic frame that's used for uh, holding fabric. Uh, when uh, people sew patterns into it. There are these little clips that go on the edges and it seemed like it was the right size. So let's give it a try. These little clips have a serrated surface on the inside, so by rotating them, you can actually tension the fabric pretty well, and that feels good. Now, in order to support this stuff while we work on it, I've made a little piece that fits inside, and it stands just proud of the plastic. This way, I've got a nice flat surface to work on. So what I'm going to start with is a 3M Scotch-Brite sponge and some Dawn dish detergent. And I've got this nice spray head set up here. the wood is wet it holds the foil pretty well and you can work these little wrinkles out and we've got a nice backing surface to work on
Okay, I think it should do it. Still have a nice flat piece. The edges will be a little wrinkled. Let's pull the clips off and see what it looks like. And we'll put it back in this jig for uh, the final burnishing, but first it gets a one hour soak in heated tap water.